Hello and welcome to another T-Course tutorial. In this video, I will demonstrate how to do your PAYE return filing. First, you need to log in with your correct user ID and password. Once logged into your account, select the filing obligations tile. Click select a tax return and choose PAYE from the drop down. Select a PAYE return, then click the arrow to proceed. Please read these instructions carefully before proceeding. Check the box once you have read and understood. Then click continue to proceed to the filing options. Once loaded, select no for a lodging and ill return for this period. When no is selected, auto calculation or provide my own tax liabilities option is displayed. For this demo, we will select the option, I would like the system to calculate tax liabilities for me and click continue. Choosing this option means that the employer will not be providing the tax withheld for that pay period, but rather TPOS will calculate the tax figures. Select the payment period and click on add payment period. A pop-up page is displayed where the employer has to specify the start and end date for the payment period. Set the payment date and select the payment number from the drop-down. Then click the add employee button. Here, you will need to enter the payment details for every employee. So please ensure that all your employees have updated their information with FRCS. If the details entered does not match with FRCS records for that employee, there will be an error message displayed once you click confirm. The system validates the TIN against the date of birth. The employers are required to or make a selection of the employee tax code and residency status. There is a drop-down option available for these two fields. The employer is also required to enter the start and end date of employment. The date has to be within the current filing period. The other details required is the year-to-date payments and year-to-date taxes deducted for that employee till the current payment period. The employer is required to enter payments related to the current pay. These are normal pay field, director's remuneration, bonus overtime. The next set of fields, the employer is required to enter a payments for redundancy, lump sum and other one-off payments. Going forward, the employers are required to get prior approval from FRCS if they are making any redundancy, lump sum and other one-off payments. Once approved, FRCS will provide the employer an approval number for any of the relevant redundancy, lump sum and other one-off payments. The employer is also required to enter the approval number and any redundancy, lump sum and other one-off payments in the relevant fields. Once all the information has been entered, a system validation check will run to see if the prior approval number is correct and if the payment entered matches with approved payment. TPOS will give an error message if the approval number does not match or if approval number is incorrect. The last two fields the employer has to enter is the FNPF deduction amount and gross up employee. For gross up employee, there is drop down option for the employer to select yes or no. Select yes if you have any employee working for whom you are paying the taxes. The taxes deducted from their pay are the obligations of the employer. Their pay was grossed up to cater for the taxes to be paid by the employer. Click confirm after all details are entered. If there are any data entry or validation error, it will be highlighted once you click on confirm. After all the error is rectified, the employer can continue with return filing after going through summary page and declaration. We hope that you have been able to follow through. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more tutorial videos. For more information or queries, please email info at frcs.org.fj.